Let's talk about learning to hit a proper draw. Okay, let's get our, our, our terminologies correct. When I strike this golf ball, I want my club face squared. However, I need to learn to put myself, my body, my squared stance, thighs, hips, and shoulders in a position that will allow me to hit the inside quadrant of the golf ball. Most of the golfing world will call this a closed stance. I don't want you to do that because I think that takes your mind off of what the truth is. It is a squared stance. Don't ever forget that. Thighs, hips, and shoulders. But now you take yourself and put yourself in a position where that club face, squared club face, is aiming for the inside quadrant of the golf ball. Now this will make it appear and or feel to you like your club face is shut. But again, that's a feeling or it appears to be. It's not a reality. If that club face were shut, there's no way that you could hit the inside quadrant getting the ball to start to the right, come back to the left. You just hit the outside and yank it left and this is what you're probably doing if you listen to somebody say to hit a draw you just close your club face. To hit a draw I must be in position which will allow my arms to come from inside the target line out to the ball. If my club face is not allowed to apparently look and or feel shut then I would just knock the ball out to the right. Okay so now we're talking sensations. So when I set into the golf ball, I'll put my club face down first. Then I will take my body line and aim it slightly to the right because that creates more of an inside path. But at the same time while you're doing that, don't let the face open. Just keep it where it was. I'll go one more time. I want to do that. I'll set my club face. Then I will turn my squared stance to the right to create an inside path. While I'm doing that, don't allow your club face to open to match where your body's going. Allow it to stay where it was. Now when I hit this golf ball, the target line is still straight. But my arm path is going to be coming from the inside out towards the ball. The club face will appear to feel and to look shut as it goes through up to my finish position, bringing the ball back. If I make the mistake of not allowing the toe to remain in its position, then I will leave the ball out to the right. Do not have any um, qualms with allowing the face to roll as much as you want, as long as you hit the right spot on the ball. Doing this, the ball will go out to the right, come back to the left. If you hit the outside of the golf ball, the ball will go to the left. So don't tell me the technique doesn't work. The technique works fine, but you do have to pay attention to exactly where on the ball you hit. But, you know, even if you don't practice a lot, take a few seconds to understand it. For the ball to take off to the right, you can't hit the direct back. And if you hit the outside, it's just going to go left. So you got to aim. So we can get our swing working correctly and hit the wrong part of the ball and we get a bad shot. So let's get the swing working correctly and then let's work our way into hitting the correct spot on the ball. That's a draw. This is a shot I really like the most because it's an aggressive shot. I feel more aggressive. It allows my weight pressure to get to my front foot a whole lot better and I feel like I'm moving through the golf ball.